Oh. What time are you up this morning? Two, three, half four. Which is when I gave up on the idea of sleep. Oh, should have woke me up. Bed don't have to be about sleep, you know. And does everything have to be about that? No, of course not. Sorry for showing an interest. No, I'm sorry. I'm just a bit. Of a cow. I feel weird about yesterday. You know, the wake. Ashley quitting. Diane. Well, they had a point. I am harboring a criminal. Yeah, but you love him, don't you? We all do. Kettle been on. I'll be on your face in a minute if you do that again. Oh, does it excite you when he gets mad? Proper gets me going. Speaking of getting going. What? You know what, Ross? I want my home back. Oh, you are a very harsh woman, Auntie Moira. Isn't she, Sea Dog? Oh, no, that doesn't sound right. Cane Dog? Hmm? Big C. Oh, no, that's cancer, innit? I've accepted an offer on this place. And I'd like to enjoy it while I still can, all right? Well, hang on, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, got some news. I'm really looking forward to breaking it to Adam. So please, go, OK? If you've got something to say, why don't you just say it? Instead of taking it out on the mugs, and by mugs, I mean me. OK. Let's try again, shall we? Where did you get the money? And if you say need to know basis one more time... You what? Demand to take it back? Do you think I'm just going to nod and smile like some daft Stepford wife? No questions asked. I wish. Really? You wish? Then you are seriously with the wrong woman. Right now, you've got two choices. You call off the sale and you save yours and Adam's livelihood, or you lose everything. It's up to you. Oh, time that prank I was queen fruit. Oh, poor Declan. <laughs> poor Declan? Yeah, there's this big posh wedding at his gaff, yeah? Loads of flash cars. Boom. Gone. Just like that. Well, one guy was acting as the valet, parking the cars. Cocky as anything. <laughs> Quite cute with it, though. And then the other guy just drove them off. Cross or what? <laughs> so, now I know. Victimless crime, they'll all be insured. As easy as that. It's as easy or as hard as you make it. And the cheeky accomplice playing the fake valley? As if I need ask. Ross. I mean, you hate his guts. Oh, he had one good idea and the guts to see it through. We we're going to go 50 50, but he insisted I take the lion's share. Said he owed you big time. So where's he gone now? Wherever the wind's blown him. Fact is. That's problem solved, isn't it? So you're going to ring the estate agents or not? James, come in. I thought you'd be gone by now. I haven't lost that famous Scotty's warmth, is he? Uh, is everything OK? Thought I'd make one last attempt at knocking some sense into Ross. Oh, um... Ross is gone. He left yesterday. It'll be all right, it's here. The morning's gone. Does it still hurt when you breathe? <laughs> yeah, you've got to keep the pressure on this. Can't stop. Get out! Let me sort this. Clean up. No, leave it! Leave it! The police will... <laughs> what am I saying? Of course we can't go to the police. Because then they'll find out about your involvement. And no police. No insurance. And then they just get away with this. Believe me, they will not get away with this. Well, because you're going to go over there and what part of them? <laughs> and then you might go and nick a few more cars and pay for all this damage, eh? Oh, Moira. No, kid, I thought they'd killed him. <laughs> when did we decide to start living like this? Eh? Dealing with crooks. Staying afloat by stealing. I mean... <laughs> well, I'm sick of it. 
I am sick of living like a criminal. And I can't even go back. Because everything I had before you is gone. My well, dad's come round, he's uh, seen what can be saved outside. How's Adam? Cuts and bruises mostly. Doctor said he was lucky. They're keeping him in for observation. But that's not why you're asking, is it? You want to know whether the police have been told? I don't care. Don't worry, you're in the clear. I'm careful, that still might have some glass in it. Look, the important thing is you're safe. We'll work something out. I mean, the rest is just stuff. Where's Ross? I uh, made sure he left. What? That's your solution, is it? Blame him and that solves everything. <laughs> you still want him living here after this? Family. You barely know him. It doesn't give a stuff about you. He, I don't he said... care, okay? I don't care what he said. It doesn't matter anymore. The farm's finished. No, 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 no. no, no. Nothing has changed. Look, we'll, we'll rent some more equipment um, that can meet with the next few The refrigerators few orders. have been no, off for no, hours. We'll we have some... lost we'll everything. Will you stop else? saying that? You can't. You can't rebuild what took John and me years to build because you were never part of it. In this farm, this farm is our home. Mine, John's, and the kids. <sighs> you don't understand. Because I'm not John. I get it. You blame me. If I wasn't here, then none of this would have happened. If John was here, then everything would have been all right. I didn't say that. That's what you need now, is it? Good man like him. Salt of the earth. Don't. Salt of the earth who did what he liked with your money. Unless you and your family in massive debt. Shut up. A debt I've had to pay off. Yeah, by a stealing cars. A family I've had to look after. But according to you, this still isn't my home. It never John will be. John wasn't perfect. I know that. But at least he was honest. But you weren't though, were you, eh? Honest wasn't enough to satisfy you, was it? That's why you had to come to me. Again and again. In the barn, in the garage. <laughs> Go! Go, my house! Well, we've salvaged a few bits and bobs, but it's going to take a lot to get us up and running again. We? Oh. Uh, Ross. Yeah, he's been working like the clappers out there. He thinks he can make up for this. Uh, thanks, Zach. I'll give you a ring in the morning. Do you honestly still think that Ross is the problem here? No. The problem is we can never work while you're still in love with the dead man. I never said that my feelings towards John would change, and you've no right to expect they will. You can't just wipe clean feelings when you meet someone else. I did for you. I used to think that I loved charity. It's not the same. No. No. Because charity didn't die, you still have her. I don't want anybody else, Moira. You don't know how much I've done for you. How much you've taken over my life. I love you. I 
Or maybe it's not enough. <laughs> maybe you're right. Maybe this can never work. <laughs> Not stopping long. Do I even get to know where you've been? I've been giving charity one. That's what you thought, isn't it? I'll leave you to it. Can you blame me? My mates asked me to take a car over to Whistley for him. I wasn't going to do it at first, but I changed my mind. Why are you doing this? Me doing it? Well, I know we've got problems, but I love you. I, I thought you knew that. But you love John more. How many more times? John's gone. Yeah, I noticed. I'm not sure you have, though. Do you know what? Fine. If you want to be jealous of a dead man, then go. Take all the time you need. <laughs> 